All right, so this is something that start happening to me. Let me show you. So I have a launch box and I have an emulator here. So I got three versions. I downloaded this yesterday. So here's the problem. This is the one I was using before. Uh, let me just open it. So this is what happened, it just hang in there, black screen, and after a while it's going to close by itself. And it was working fine before yesterday. So the last thing I installed was um, uTorrent and some Morgan game, which I deleted thinking it was the problem. I thought that was causing the problem, but um, you're going to be surprised what the problem was. Alright, so this is what happened. It just closed by itself. So, I said, let me download the latest version. So, I downloaded this one yesterday. And uh, let's try to run this one. So you see the same thing happen, same thing happen, it just hung in there and it's gonna close by itself, come on, come on, I was doing control or delete and ended, ending the process, <laughs> God, I thought my computer was just frozen there, but if you leave it, it will close by itself, there you go. All right, so so that's what happened. Now check this out. So if I open a uh, launch box, okay. So launch box open. So this is icon. So this is where I'm running this game. I'm all running on main. So let me try to open. Uh, let's try to open the combo. See, it's using main 0225B. Let's see what happened. There you go. Open up. Okay. So you open. You open up. So let me close this all right let's try to open another one so all right so let me go to the setting here setting manage emulator so you can see I'm running so there you go so main and it's pointing to that emulator edit so you can see so you see it's pointing to emulator if I go browser it's pointing to that emulator. Let me go back so you can see. See, it's pointing here. It's pointing to this emulator in here. And as you can see, you open up. So let me try to open another game. Let's try to open. Uh, let's try to open. Pattern. All right. So you see, it's open. So it's open up. Let's try another emulator. Let's try this one. So launch box is working fine. <clears throat> now the thing is that I use a standalone emulator, like a standalone main, to check uh, the game before I import it. So I want to make sure all the games work. I don't want to be doing this through um, launch box. And like I, like I said before, so it's pointing, emulator is pointing to 
that emulator man zero two two five b uh, let me close that let me close launch box and let me go back in there yeah. uh, it's emulator this is it over here try it again to open it Same problem. All right, so it close. All right, so let me tell you how I figure out. So, um, and retroarch also is working fine, but uh, how did I figure out? I, I was getting ready to record a video, so I went and grabbed the mic connected to this computer because this is like an old computer I'm using just for, for retro. And, um, it's connected to a speaker on the machine and everything. So as you can see, there's no speaker connected and it's showing this, that there's no speaker. Uh, also, let me go here and uh, let me show you, I'm, I'm running Windows 10. So this is a Windows 10 64B. Windows 10 will be here. Uh, where, is, where is this? Uh, there you go. And it's a Windows 10 Pro N, okay? So I said, let me go. And now I also have a headphone that I connected to um, to the computer. So let me go and connect the headphone to the computer. I have some headphones so I could um, get some audio. All right, so I connect the headphone. So now I do have a speaker. So the speaker came back on. Now, let's try to run main now. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. I was like, wow. I couldn't believe the speaker was doing the problem. So now, let me go back again. Now, I'm going to try to open this one, which I downloaded yesterday, thinking that it was a... Uh, something wrong with that version of meme so let me try to open this now let's see what happened oh look at this initializing wow so you open up <laughs> wow and this is a, a old version of meme I had the same problem it wasn't working at all none of them was working Look at this, initializing. So I hope this video can help somebody else who had the same problem as me. Man, I was pulling all my hair yesterday. <laughs> and the reason I think it was working before because I had the computer, I had the headphone plugged into the computer from day one. I, I was using the headphone to hear the, the sound on the game. <laughs> That's how I was testing the game, you know, checking that the sound was good and, uh, you know, everything was working fine with the game. <laughs> but this is the headphone I use on my other computer when I do a streaming and stuff like that. So the problem is, like I said, the, the speaker. Let me unplug the headphone. Look at this over here. Speaker is on. Let me take it off. Just unplug the headphone. I just unplugged the headphone, so no, we got no audio. Now let me go back to main. Let me try to open main again. And look at this. Look at this. <laughs> no audio. No audio. So if there's no audio, main will not work. Main will not work without audio. So I think this is something maybe MAME can work on and bypass that. Maybe put some kind of setting that if there's no audio, it will bypass that. Still hanging in there. Let me connect the, let me connect it. Oh, there you go, you just finished. Just finished. All right. So again, I, I connect it. Connected the speaker back on. Connected the speaker back on, or the headphone. 
Bingo. <laughs> Bingo is back on. All right, people. Thank you for watching.